Hi, we are now with Gabriela Rodriguez, Program Coordinator of Future Leaders of America in Santa Barbara. How are you doing, Gabriela? I'm doing well. Thank you for having us. It's good to have you in our show today. Gabriela, what is the mission of Future Leaders of America? Uh, Future Leaders of America promotes leadership development, um, educational opportunities, and instills the personal development of Latino youth in order to foster greater awareness and participation in, in our community. And basically, our students go through our leadership program and they are expected to come back and make a positive influence in their families, in their schools, and in their communities. Why is it so important to focus on the Latino community nowadays? Um, let me just say a little bit of history of Future Leaders of America. This program was started 27 years ago in 1982 by a high school counselor who in one year alone he lost over 17 youth to gangs, to uh, drugs, to teen pregnancies, um, high school dropouts, and this seemed to be a, a general trend in the Latino population in the city of Oxnard at the time, and he felt that it was very important to empower these youth in order to create leaders and have them be the role models for other youth to follow later. So it's extremely important for our Latino students to really know that they have a voice and for them to pursue higher education and know that uh, there are many opportunities here in Santa Barbara and Ventura throughout the country where um, they could practice their leadership skills and they could pursue higher education. Good. Tell me more about the training camp. We have a summer leadership camp that's an overnight uh, week-long residential program and during this week-long summer training our students not only learn about public speaking, about parliamentary procedure, about setting goals for themselves and pursuing higher education, but also um, they raise their self-esteem. It's really a, a, a very empowering experience. I personally went through the program so I can tell you firsthand just how important and how life-changing it really is. Once the students go through the summer leadership training, they have ongoing uh, workshops and conferences throughout the year and they meet on a bi-monthly basis in their school clubs and in their FLAMA clubs which is the Future Leaders of America Master Achievers Club and our students um, identify different issues in their community and they put together different pro projects and programs to uh, improve their community. Yeah. Now are these camps also for families? Yes, we also have our family leadership component and that's usually in the spring of each year and we invite the entire family because what we found is that in order to truly make an impact in the success of this youth, we need to have a strong foundation at home. Uh, many of our students who went to the summer leadership camp and were very empowered and motivated and ready to change the world need that support system at home. If they don't have that, it's very difficult for us to work with them. So uh, we invite the entire family. When they are up at this uh, weekend long camp, they um, are taught to better communicate assertively with their teen and teens with their parents. They are taught that you also as a person, as an individual, have to set yourself goals. You have to challenge yourself and become a better individual. Change your community for the better. That's so much needed, those training camps. Oh, yes, most definitely. Especially nowadays with all the gangs and many other yes. bad issues that sometimes happen. But let's talk about the positive things. And <laughs> you were mentioning some clubs. Yes. Tell me more about we have We have school clubs at each of the local high schools. Um, here in the Santa Barbara South region, we have from Carpinteria, Dos Pueblos, Santa Barbara High School, and San Marcos High School. And we also have a Santa Barbara North chapter, and we have school clubs at each of the local public high schools. At each of these school clubs, the students meet on a weekly basis, and they, again, identify a program or a project that they'd like to take on, whether it be reducing bullying and youth violence, or it be reducing the effects of secondhand smoke, or reducing underage drinking um, and they tackle on a lot of the issues that they identify and they feel are important for us to change in our community for the better. Which other programs are good for us to know about uh, coming from FLA? Well, uh, Future Leaders of America also provides um, university seminars. We provide enrichment workshops for the entire family and for youth to take advantage of, uh, whether it be sitting with the students and working on their college applications, um, helping them with financial aid and the whole nuts and bolts of getting to the university. And uh, once they are at the university, these students are the ones who are putting together the university conferences for other youth to follow. So they're taught to give back to their community in every single aspect of their involvement in Future Leaders of America. And uh, besides the university seminars, the enrichment workshops, we have a Latina Superwoman conference at a local university or, or community college. And in this Latina Superwoman conference, females and uh, daughters and mothers are invited to attend and they're invited to explore what it means to be a Latina and a powerful Latina and pursuing higher education or being a support system for their family and the many roles that we as women many, have, many times have to play. Excellent. Now, with all these programs around, how do you do to get funded? 
Uh, in order to get funded, we rely a lot on donations, individual donations. Mm -hmm. We rely on grants and foundations and uh, just of the kindness of people to support our programs and try to make a positive difference in their community. And how do people get involved? The students could uh, join our school club, they could join our Flama club that meets bimonthly, mm -hmm. and um, it's just a matter of having taking the initiative. We have our, an office in Santa Maria, an office in Santa Barbara, and an office in Ventura County. And um, here in Santa Barbara, our phone number is 805-879 one five four six and you can also visit us on the website at www.latinoleaders.org Gabriela thank you for all that information this is an excellent initiative for our community and I wish the best for you and thank future you. leaders of America thank you so much I appreciate this for more information on the nonprofit spotlight check our website at www.sbchannels.tv